I don't know, when I was growing up, th there was no such thing as planets around other stars. If you would talk about it at a scientific meeting, people would laugh at you. Um, not that I was talking at scientific meetings when I was in high school, but um, so I'm told. Planets are very small compared to the stars that they orbit. They're also very dim. For example, the Earth. Uh, is 10 billion times fainter than the sun. 10 billion times fainter. It's kind of like trying to see a firefly next to a lighthouse. It gets lost in the glare. The Hubble Space Telescope takes pictures of nearby stars and uses a special tool called a coronagraph. And the coronagraph blocks out the light from the star. It's a fancy way of putting your thumb over the star, basically, so that you can see something faint that is right next to it. Uh, we could also use Hubble and other telescopes to study regions where we think planets might be forming. We, we see in images from Hubble, we see these rings of dust around nearby stars. Well, what I observe with Hubble are those disks those disks of gas and dust around the young stars in which we think the dust grains are starting to clump together and build up into like, you know, pebbles, and rocks, co asteroids, comets, Earths. We're finding baby solar systems by using Hubble and other telescopes, including sort of ground-based radio telescopes that can peer into these disks around stars and see young planets or regions where young planetary systems are forming. You know, the study of exoplanets is uh, only a little over 15 years old. We discovered more than 400 extrasolar planets now. You know, we're still just beginning to, like, to understand how the processes that formed our own solar system also form these other really diverse types of planets. I think the thing that excites me most is just the, the basic discovery of what exists, you know, what's out there. Water world, carbon planets, you know, it sounds like science fiction, but not really, not anymore. You know, why did a life arise on Earth instead of somewhere else? I mean, if there's another planet out there that could have life on it, why aren't we there? <laughs>